Hi, and welcome to this WordPress.com tutorial. For today's tutorial, we'll be using the Blask theme, and I will show you how you can set it up to appear exactly as the demo for the Blask theme. So you'll notice that up here, we're on the Blask demo site, um, and I will show you how to create this front page here using the Blask's themes built-in portfolio shortcode. And I'll also show you how to set up your social menus down over here at the bottom using the themes built-in social menu. This is what my site looks like right here. As you can see, it looks nowhere near as clean or neat as this one. By the end of this tutorial, however, you'll have an understanding about how you can go ahead and create it to make it appear just like the demo. To get started, you want to be in your WordPress dashboard. We're going to go ahead and scroll down, and the first thing we want to do is to go ahead and create some portfolios. You'll go over here to Portfolios, and you're going to hit Add New. We're going to call create our first uh, um, project for our portfolio. We'll call it the Ellen Parsons Project. I'll just put some text down here. I am some text. You'll, of course, want to fill out this information right here. But for today's purposes, we're just going to add a featured image. So we'll go ahead and feature image. There they are. And then they appear right down there. I'll go ahead and hit publish. Okay. And we'll go ahead and create another one, add new, which we call this one. Oh, we'll call it Project Runway. And enter some text. I am some text right here. Go ahead, give it a featured image. There it is. Of course, this is metadata down over here. And you'll want to go ahead on yours, fill in. The, uh, the metadata. Uh, when I fill metadata, I normally just keep everything sort of the same kind of text. Like so. Set featured image. Publish. Okay, now we have two projects. Now, uh, you can view the projects inside your dashboard by clicking on all projects. And you have the two that appear here. Now we need to go ahead and assign them to a front page, to a static, to assign it to a page, basically. Uh, the Blask theme has a page that comes with it called Portfolio Page. However, in order for this page to work, you have to edit it. The way you edit it is by making it, uh, making it have and carry the Portfolio Page template. So when you get here, you click here, you have it select that, and then you just hit update. You'll notice that it says portfolio here in the text box. That is one of WordPress's um, short code features that have been built into the theme itself. Uh, you can just leave that alone. Um, in setting this up, you don't really need to edit it. For more advanced stuff, you could, but for our purposes, we don't. Now that everything has been updated, we need to go ahead and make the portfolio page the front page. You do that by going down to settings and then clicking on reading. You want to select static page, front page, and you want to select portfolio. It has post page right here. You don't need to worry about that uh, for the posts. You can just sort of ignore that. If you're going to be having posts on your page, uh, you could go ahead and just assign it a different page for it to kind of appear on. Move it on here. Save changes. Now let's go ahead. Uh, I opened this up here already. We go ahead and view it. Looks pretty good. Does it look like the, the uh, Blask theme? Yep. Looks pretty good, just like the Blask theme. Um, these images right here in the Blask theme are just come in different sizes. You'll have to follow the themes. Um, guidelines and how big these images need to be. 
to make it different sizes and make it appear kind of here, the images as different sizes. The next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is add in a social menu. You notice right here that the social menu has all these icons here. The Blask theme comes with these icons. So all you have to do is create your social menu and just link to the site. The way we create the social menu is by going to uh, Appearance and then Menu. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to create a new menu. We're going to call it Our Social Menu. We're going to hit Create Menu. Then once you've created your menu, you want to go to Manage Locations. And they give you two options. A one that you can set it as the primary menu in the Blask theme. These items over here are your primary menu and appear over here. On my site, they just appear over here as portfolio page because I'm not creating a primary one. I'm just going to show you the demo on how to create the social. So to create the social menu, you go over here and you select social menu and you hit save changes. Now your menu has been updated. You want to go ahead and edit it. Okay. The way you add it in is that you create just a link to the place. So this is going to be facebook.com, Facebook, add menu. I'll do twitter.com, uh, oops, Twitter. Uh, let's see here. What else do they have? Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Instagram.com. Uh, Instagram, WordPress.com, WordPress, Pinterest.com, Pinterest, hit Save Menu. refresh the site. Your menu should appear down over here. And there it is. And there it is there as well. This site, this icon right here just links back to the site. So you click on that, it'll just take you back to the front page. You'll just note that with the social menu uh, icons, I had misspelled the URL for Pinterest. I went ahead and made the changes here in the uh, the social menu um, spot right here and spelled it correctly. And once I spelled it correctly, the P icon showed up down here. The last thing I wanted to show you is that you can just move these links around any old place that you want um, and save it. And the menus will be the social icon menus will be moved around. Um, Feels like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Uh, I'll post some um, helpful links in the uh, um, in the bottom. Thanks for watching.